Welcome to our YouTube channel A to Z Summary. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the book Truly Devious, a mystery by Maureen Johnson. Before proceeding further to the summary, I request you to please subscribe our YouTube channel. We have a collection of 1,000 plus books and novels. The characters of the book are The themes of the book are In the beginning of the story, Dottie Epstein is welcomed to Ellingham Academy, a new school constructed by American industrialist Albert Ellingham in 1936. Ellingham Academy provides a world of academic freedom, amusing games, and mind-boggling puzzles and riddles. However, a killer strikes shortly after Dottie comes to Ellingham, and Mr. Ellingham's wife Iris and small young daughter Alice are kidnapped and held for ransom by a strange individual known only as Truly Devious. Stevie Bell comes at Ellingham Academy today. Stevie is a true crime fan who feels she can solve the mystery of what happened to the Ellingham family. Despite this, Stevie suffers from worry, crippling self-doubt, and a poor connection with her parents, who are unable to understand her unusual interests. When Stevie arrives into Minerva House on the Ellingham campus, she finds writer Nate, artist Ellie, engineer Janelle, YouTube actor Hayes and programmer David. Stevie swiftly becomes friends with Nate and Janelle, both first-year students, but Hayes is self-centered plus deceptive, and something about David makes Stevie uncomfortable. Hayes encourages Stevie to help him develop a new program on the Ellingham murders as she is an expert and could write the screenplay with Nate's assistance. Stevie and Nate are dragged into a complicated group project with Hayes, Maris, an opera student and Dash, a technician. Hayes is happy to have the other people of his group doing all of the work, but Stevie isn't bothered because Hayes shows them how to enter the famed tunnel that originally flowed beneath Ellingham Academy's constructed lake. Hayes goes to the tunnel on his own one night after they finish filming and appears dead hours later, the victim of an apparent accident with the dry ice that resulted in carbon dioxide poisoning. Hayes is happy to have the other people of his group doing all of the work, but Stevie isn't bothered because Hayes shows them how to enter the famed tunnel that originally flowed beneath Ellingham Academy's constructed lake. Hayes goes to the tunnel on his own one night after they finish filming and appears dead hours later, the victim of an apparent accident with the dry ice that resulted in carbon dioxide poisoning. Ellingham Academy is still trying to understand out what happened to Hayes today. Stevie does her own inquiry and finds that Hayes has a history of getting others to perform his work for him and lying to make himself appear good. She also finds that Hayes did not compose the musical that made him famous, and his accidental death begins to look like homicide. Meanwhile, Stevie is oddly pulled to David, and he acknowledges that he likes her. When David finds Stevie wandering around his room looking for information about his family, he snaps at her and tells her that his parents are no longer alive. Stevie knits together the crime one night at a school dance and realizes that Ellie, the free-spirited artist, assisted Hayes in writing his act and then attempted to get rid of the evidence. Ellie flees the scene when campus police ask her about her involvement in Hayes' killing. A guy confesses to kidnapping Iris and Alice Ellingham in 1936. However, before he can be punished, the suspect is murdered in a shootout, and his confession breaks apart as police dig deeper. The actual truly devious is still at large, and Albert Ellingham's yacht explodes two years after the kidnappings and killings, and anarchists are blamed for planting a bomb on board. Alice never reappears. Stevie discovers a strange series of evidence in Ellie's room in the novel's last scene that may reveal the identity of truly devious. Simultaneously, a helicopter lands at Ellingham Academy, and Edward King, a politician whom Stevie despises, comes out. Edward King is introduced as David's dead dad. The book ends with Stevie and David standing outside, watching as Edward King, a slimy Pennsylvania senator, gets out of a helicopter. David introduces Edward as his father, which shocks Stevie, as David had previously told her that his parents were dead. The book ends with the words to be continued, leaving readers to wonder who is truly devious, what do the items in the tin can mean, what is David's relationship to Edward King, and what will happen to Ellie. The sequel to Truly Devious, titled The Vanishing Stare, provides answers to some of these questions, but it also raises new ones. The series is a thrilling mystery that will keep readers guessing until the very end. Thank you for watching the summary. I hope you liked it.
please subscribe to our channel for regular summaries. We also have a collection of 1,000 plus summaries of books, novels, and poems at our website at tussummary.com. Thank you and take care.